Okay, let's talk about it. So first game, this is not first game. What I'm what I'm talking about here. This is games two to ten. Okay, the so first game we know what to do. You know how to do it. I will review it and tell you how to do it better, so it's cleaner and more. It feels better. Uh, but game two to ten is this is what it is. Okay. So first thing. Yeah. Yeah. These are the seven steps to getting a really, 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 really good game, potentially a win in this meta. First game is to get your early game right. Okay. That we'll we'll wonder and we'll we'll evaluate whether that's good enough. Next step is to get your metal up. Next step is to get a cash. Why? You need heal off. You need slurp juice. Sometimes you'll have a vault at your yeah. drop. I don't actually know if your drop has it. Does it? Uh, no, we we like loot our spot and then we go over to Brutal Bastion uh, very often, like third party or yeah. like clean up. I don't and recommend. Get the I don't recommend you do it games two to ten because I don't think you should W key games two to ten. Only no, uh, we're not double king uh, games to the 10. We're only double king the first game. And if we don't drop like a really, really high game, maybe yep. like second game, we're like a little bit aggressive, but like yeah, uh, yeah. try to play passive. That's, That's my at least plan. That sounds and right. Then, like, mm -hmm. yeah, and then uh, we just play end game. Okay, so let's, let's, ask, let's ask you this. Let's say this is your Loto, okay? This is the same thing on both of you Loto. SMG, yeah. Katana, uh, Shotgun, and then two heals, usually Slurp Juice, and then uh, Splashes. Yeah, yeah. If you have this on both people, what's your next step? In a unstacked game without surge. Sorry, not unstacked. Stacked game with without surge. Stacked your... game without surge. I I guess like positioning would be good. Yes. Yeah, so what no? should you do to make sure your position is decent in mid game, if possible? I think if possible. Okay. So here, let me let me let me start a little bit earlier. There's three types of games. Okay. Very very easy to understand. First uh, first type is the easiest one. Is unstacked. Fully. Okay, unstacked. Then there's stacked, but there's no surge. Right, but no surge. Unstacked is like there's like 20 people like fifth zone. Yeah, or like 30 people yeah. fifth zone. So it's very, very unstacked. And then this one is stacked and surge. Okay, and surge. Yeah. Okay, so this one you need red eye. So you can't hold SMG. You need two red eyes, I would say. And just get your surge up yeah. and you would position on mountains and stuff. This one's easy. I feel like you guys understand this. That's that's just my feeling. Um that's not the hard part. The hard part is in this one. And this one in my opinion you should try to bush camp if possible and at some point you need to box because there's, too, there's not enough bushes or, or maybe you, you the zone pulled into the snow biome there's no bushes and then you need to be in boxes but do you agree in these two games you do not need tags so then yes you're uh, right that positioning is the most important thing this one uh, I will ask you another question are you more scared of pro players or psychopaths in the low elo uh, no. psychopaths. Yeah, like, no, pro, pro players, no. We have faced pro players, like, in arena mm -hmm. or in tournaments, and we have, like, cleaned them through, like, Yes, that's, that's, the, that's the idea. Pro players are a little bit more predictable. Why? Because pro players will do things that are good for them as well. So they won't just full yeah. psycho and grief you if they see you. The problem with playing unstacked games and trying to play placement is that I don't trust any of these zombies, psychopaths, these, these actual crazy people outside, because they will do stuff. They will kill you, even if it's not good for them. They have no yeah. idea. They don't know the difference. They will just genuinely key you, which is why bushes are really good and not boxing because bushes, they can't key you because they don't know you're there. Yeah. But box, they know you're in there because it's a box. Like, this is not like, all right. Another tactic you can do is open, like you can be in a box and open a wall. So it looks like you left and then sit on the yeah, top. Yeah. You can do that too. That's an option. But the idea is in these two games, you should play differently. In this one, you probably bush camp first two to three zones and then start boxing. Because the idea is there's only two things that stop you, stop people from keying. Two genuinely good things, okay? Two reasons. Number one, there's enough tension in the game, meaning the, there's a lot of people around you that are also in boxes, so it's hard for people to just come up to your box and start smacking because they will just get shot, right? There's a lot of tension. The meaning that the, 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 the density of player to zone space is pretty high, okay? That's one thing. The other thing is uh, they don't know you're there. So that's what the bu bushes and the box strategy does. In these games, that's what you should do. And then uh, you need to make sure this always exists in your games. Like, uh, it's, it's very important. In surge stack games, there's just so many boxes everywhere that no one's going to kill you. That's why it's safe to be in a box. But in unstacked games, it's not safe to be in a box. People would just psychopath. Uh, you, no problem. I have, a, I have a question. Go ahead. If, uh, let's say, uh, like in an uh, unstacked game, right? Yep. Let's say uh, if we key first game, get a 30 bomb, right? Yep. And second game, like, uh, it's high, uh, like, it's higher elo, right? Yes. But it's not stacked. Yeah. Uh, is it safe to box, but, like, on a place that you cannot get W keyed? Is Where? that safe? Give me an example of a place that you can't get W keyed. Like, let's say up a mountain. Why can't you get W keyed on, on a mountain? I mean, you can, but it will be harder for them. No? I agree it's harder, but here's a, here's a possibility where it's impossible to get keyed. A bush. 
Uh, if you don't need surge, know. you don't need the mountain. The only purpose of being on a mountain, if you have katanas, is to just get surge. His line of sight, right? But it, like, if you have katanas, you can be low ground in mid game. It doesn't actually matter you can always katana over to the next zone so there's no point to put yourself on the top of a mountain and scream like hey i'm over here on a box come key me like the reason oh, yeah. why like if you're in paris right let's say you're in the city of paris why do you see the eiffel tower anywhere you are in the city oh, it's tall it's so big yes if you sit yeah. on a mountain same idea i would argue it's better to box on the ground even better than boxing to be in a bush on the ground sometimes you will do you do need to box because of the fact that you know it's snow biome if it pulls up there you, there's no bushes so in that case you do need to box but i would not box in a mountain in a non-surge game it doesn't make sense a lot of sense to me because you don't need that much information to katana safely honestly a lot of people overestimate it like oh i can see everything yeah but you're also the main point everyone sees you Right, so if someone wants to psychopath key you, and sometimes people do in, in high lobbies as well. Not everyone is sane. Uh, they will do it because they see that you're the first team that they see. But let's say this is like congested side and this is like dead side over here. If you base over here, it's very safe. No one sees you until they cross the mountain, for example. See? So that's my point. Uh, so yeah, any other questions about that topic? Uh, it's like, um, how's it called? Let's say, uh, you know, you said bushes were good, right? To yeah. camp. Yeah. Uh, those houses, like, um, are, are just houses good uh, to camp in? Houses is the same effect as a bush, in my personal opinion. The only difference uh -huh. is, uh, sometimes people are careful when they enter houses, and then you're forced. Bush, I think you can SMG them when they're, like, 20 meters away. And then you can use that time. Let's say they're threatening to run into your bush, right? You can SMG yeah. them, hit them for 100, and then Katana away. Because, again, in, in those games 2 to 10, you should not fight. Because it doesn't do any yeah. good. When you have that full loadout, like, what's the point of killing them? It, two points? Like, I don't know. That does nothing. You will not, you will not qual because you miss out on two points. That's so unlikely. But that, getting that kill is not worth it. Even if you hit them for 100 in game two to 10. Uh, I would just katana away. Hit them so they have to heal so they don't spray you while you're katana. Away. That's the idea. Uh, but yeah, that's why I like bushes because you can spray them in a house. If they're cave careful and enter the house, it's hard to get a beam on them. But a bushes is much easier to get a beam. Now, a lot of people will, will pump bushes and spray them. That's, you know, sometimes that's the case as well. But if there's like six bushes in an area and you're in one of them, I, I don't know if they'll, you know, check every single one. And even if they do, if they pump it, they're not hitting you for that hard. Uh, a house is way more close range. I prefer bushes over houses, but houses are much better than boxes. There's like a tier list, if you will, you know? Like, there's like a priority. Bushes, houses, box low ground, box high ground. Or I would even say fake box in here. Fake box somewhere in here, right? Because it's best, because they, they think that it's empty. That's the idea. And these are all like uh, in games of two and three, non-surge lobbies. In surge lobbies, you can't really be hidden in bushes and stuff. You can, you can get searched through bush, but that's when, this is when, number one is when mountains and stuff are really important, if you can get it. Okay, but the problem is, in dual cash drop, rarely is there surge, unless you're literally top 50 or top 100 in the leaderboard. Then there's surge, but let's get there first, okay, step by step. Um, so yeah, so in this case, you get metal, you get cash, you get bush, and then this is set, this is optional, step number five is optional, you don't necessarily need it, and then clean moving, let's talk about this, this is important. If you guys have... Uh, 3k mats or even uh, I might even say 2.5k mats in half half or the, the zone before moving that's what I mean by half half okay the zone before moving zone starts if you have 2.5k mats you should not worry about impacts here's what you yeah, do yeah. first two movings first moving and second moving katana box on repeat and how do you katana you should do it vertically like this why is this better than this yeah. because this overshoots it notice how this is a smaller x distance traveled that's why you shoot up. Yeah. Also, another benefit is that you get to stay away from low ground, so you don't get shot from low ground as much because you're so high up. And high ground is usually crazy high up, right? So they don't really bother you that much. Um, and another benefit is that when you go up, you have more air time, which buys time for the front wall of zone to tra travel further. Right? So you, you, you're yeah. basically like airborne for longer. And then when you land, you've traveled a greater distance because you've, you've killed so much time midair. That's one thing. Uh, that's why I recommend doing this instead of doing straight. Uh, so you can do that for the first two movings. That's what I prescribe. Number three is number three and four moving zone three and four full tarp. Do not open or edit a single thing full tarp. And then you should have enough match to the point where you can get to that last section where the zone fully closes and you can then heal off. You literally don't know anything. I can show you a game right now where Reason and Janice had, I would believe, I think it was 2.3k mats in half half and they did exactly that. No difference. And here I do mean full tarp. I mean like wall, wall, cone on top, cone on bottom. And they just repeatedly yeah. just full tarp the whole way through and then they just healed off and uh at the very last second when they were about to heal off some guy just start running at janice oh my god why did janice not fight him it's because he's like he has all the heals he needs to just heal off like you don't need two points you need the heal off you would rather win the yeah. game instead of getting one extra kill plus fifth place very simple right 
I, I, I know it sounds obvious maybe to you guys, but uh, you'd be very surprised how many people don't understand that. It's so crazy. But yeah, uh, clean moving. Is, I think the most important steps here, the things that's going to affect your mid game the most and give you the best solution is these three things. This, this, and this. These are the most important steps. Step number four, step number six, step number seven. These are, you probably know already. I would say maybe you don't know cash. I think you should get it. Maybe you guys do it for, with, with the vault. I think cash is safer. So that's what I would recommend. Yeah. So that's probably what you need to know that's new and then bush camping is probably new and then clean moving to the the two twos prescription so katana and full full type that's what i would say yeah. peel off execution let's talk about number seven and then we'll go into the vods okay number seven is very simple obviously you would rather hold full white heels instead of holding stuff like minis and bigs you understand that right because bigs yeah. don't heal you minis don't heal you men miss is not worth it because it's too uh non-flexible as a heel what i mean by that is it only heals white heels Chug splashes and slurp juice don't do that. They're more flexible. They can heal both. And that's why it's better to hold that than, you know, that. Also, what's the most broken augment in the game? What do you guys think? Uh, the pizza cool. augment. Yep, good. Pizza yeah. augment. Yep. And in this case, it's always do... best to save it off yeah. till end game. If you, you do the, the exact same thing as Jelly Angler and you should hold this. You can also do a yeah, shot yeah. with Jelly Angler where you can, you know, fish out stuff and then put it in a spot and then katana to it. But I think that's too complicated. Honestly, you don't even need it. You just need this. This plus this is good enough. Uh, you can do a jelly angler if you, you know, maybe don't have uh, insane loot. But yeah, I just think you save the splashes, or you save the splashes from here. You save the splashes within Pizza Party because it drops you three, and then pizza itself. How much does a pizza box heal you again? In white heels? Twenty-five uh, each. Twenty-five. And, and then how many two. pizza slices are there? Uh, eight. Two hundred. No, no, nine, 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 nine. No, there's eight. You're right. You're right. Eight. Uh, yeah. Two hundred white heels in one slot that doesn't even take up an inventory slot. How broken is that? Their slurp juice and chuck splash, they, they, they don't even, chuck splash doesn't even do that. Six splashes is 120. This is insane. And so let's talk about this. There's two terms. There's slurp juices and then what I call connections. Okay, connecting heals. What I mean by that, you understand how you can't pop two slurp juices in a row. Because slurp juice yeah. doesn't full heal you. It mitigates your, your it slows down your damage. You're, you're slowly losing out, but much slower because you pop the slurp juice. But it doesn't heal you. So you can't pop a slurp juice, get to 10 HP, and then pop another one, and you just die. So the thing is, you need to go slurp juice, connection heal, which is either chunk splash or pizza, or men miss. But men miss is too slow. I don't think men miss works. Yeah, men miss straight up doesn't work. So it needs to be chunk splash or a pizza. Or floppers. Floppers is also a connection, right? But floppers I wouldn't recommend because it's non-flexible. So slurp juice into a connecting heal, into uh, so connection, into slurp juice, into connection, into slurp juice. You can literally heal off for three minutes if you wanted to. You can heal off until storm sickness kills you. But if storm sickness kills you, it's also killing everyone else, and that's how you get first place. That's how you heal off, okay? And that's what's most important that everyone else doesn't understand, is like, this is how you play, and because, like, you know in, in chess, right? In chess, they talk about... Have you guys played chess, by the way? Of course, I have yes. a lot of rating. Do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean by made in seven? What does this mean? It means made in seven moves. Yes, does it mean the opponent can do anything if you play perfectly? Uh... I mean, no, probably not. If you yes. play it perfectly, you can't. Here's what I'm saying about Fortnite, how, why it's very similar. If you have 2.5k match and you have the inventory that I described, you have made in four movings. Don't you? You uh, can literally, like, see, like yeah, Reason and Genesis, yeah. they didn't interact with anyone when they did that thing. The, the two uh, Katana and then two, you know, they, they didn't fight anyone. They didn't kill anyone in moving. They didn't even edit. They, just edited th they edited their floor to look through their cone. They just looked outside, but they never edited. So you have a yeah. maiden four movings, yet people still struggle to win. Why? Because they don't understand that they have it. They don't realize that they've won the game before uh, before it even gets to the game the ending. You know what I mean? Like they're in half half yeah. or, or the, the zone before moving, whatever you want to call it, the partial zone. And they have the win, but they don't play as if they have the win. Why? Probably because they don't realize they have the win. Same thing in chess. There's probably situations where you have a maiden three, but why don't you take? Why don't you do it? Because you don't realize you you didn't see it. Right? You didn't you didn't see the play. And this, the idea is if, you, if this is the play, this is the maiden four. This is why you need to get into the position where you have maiden four and then you just maiden four. Best part is, let's say you mess up slightly and you get second place. Are you crying? It's still yeah. fucking good, no? It's still, it's still really good. good. It's still good. Yeah, it's still no, amazing. Top one, top two, and top three is still good. It's still amazing, exactly. So the point is, like, let's say someone does it slightly better than you. It doesn't even matter. I'm still very happy with this. So the idea is you need to get good enough so where every game from game two and three uh, a game two and ten is that okay so the only difference for them is that they, and and they land bastion right and when they land bastion they have a vault 
Okay. Yeah. And I've talked already about how I think the formula is very simple at the very beginning of this video. And uh, the formula dictates that you should go get surf juice because in, in higher elo lobbies, there's probably some surge of course and but people know how to do that but like to win the lobby you need you need surf use. It's really hard to win without it um you need some sort of like ex crazy white heal uh so in their case pizza augment plus surf juice plus chug flashes is how they win the game now how do they get to the point where they can get to the heal off safely and consistently i can show you that so they land brutal bastion they get a bunch of kills i don't want to talk too much about Ospawn because this is very nuanced to brutal bastion meaning it this is like only gonna like all the advice that you i tell you here it's only gonna work for this job per se i can tell you general advice but it's not like i don't think that's your best use of time i think this part is just like i'll spawn right they, 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 it's a 2v2v2 2v2, so they want a third party he's just staying up top trying to get a good angle they killed hard find and they killed the other two people i'm pretty sure and then they won the drop yeah, this is not too different from what you guys already know honestly but this is not what i'm focused on what I am focused on is what they do after they win the drop, which is exactly what you guys struggle with. Right? They have one katana. Very similar problem to you guys. You don't have the katana right off drop. So what do they do? To be fair, Brutal Bastion has a vault and a flag. So it's like insane in terms of loot. Comparative. Found a second katana here. Now you guys could if you guys could loot everything. Like I would loot your small drop, go here, go here. I haven't seen that happen once. I would love to see that because then it would probably be equal floor loot and chest loot to Brutal Bastion. That's the key thing. If you find one katana in your area or something like that, which is still unlikely, but if it does happen, then I would use that guy katana around to try to loot everything. But yeah, they get everything in terms of loot. They have double katana. They probably should pick up a red eye because I, this, this could be a surge game. Let's we'll see what they do. They play this with 4x, they capture the flag. They're gonna try to pick up white heels, right? The minis and bigs are not as good. They're pretty good, but they're not as good as Chuck Flashes and Surge. So they're obviously gonna try to prioritize that. And let's watch their mid game, right? Zone pulls top left. They're still in zone right here. Getting surge. Pick up a red eye. They kill the guy. Try to get the vault. The, the whole reason why they stay here is because they need the vault, right? They, they wait for the spawn. Get the vault. Get all the gold for the rerolls so you can guarantee pizza augment. Pretty good. They have the surf juices. This, what I'm saying for you guys to, to find this solution, it's not vault, it's cash. You need to get, you need to go find a cash. Yeah. Right, that's, yeah. that's the idea. Okay, so... Uh, now they, they don't have red eye for some reason. The like surge is gonna happen. Let's see if they pick up a red eye or not. Okay, so they're just farming metal, I believe. And they're just focusing on getting their match up. Like literally, that's all that matters. Like, do they do they need a fight right now? No, they don't need anything. They unironically need nothing. They don't need cash. They get another cash, yeah, so they can get more surf juice. But honestly, I don't even think they need it. It's just overkill, but it, you know, you could do it. You could do it. No problem. They got the second cash. They get more surf juice. Everything is focused on getting themselves stronger. They pick up red eye off this, right? I wonder if they do. But one of them drops SMG. I talked about this before. They get red eye for surge because surge is about to happen, so they, they pay attention to that. Very high in the lobby, so they both get red eyes and tag people. And like they, they haven't moved because they're still in zone. They don't need to. They just need some tags. Use all the bigs down here to heal up, probably, because it's extra heals. This part is a self expansion, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Let's just skip ahead a little bit and look at. The transition into the end game, that's important. Just getting a bunch of tags. This part is self-explanatory. Skip again. Nothing really that complicated here. One thing to know is when they do leave that, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, drops his SMG for more surf juice. But that's how you that's how you you don't need to fight someone in endgame, unironically. Okay, let's skip again. Like I want you guys to understand this part so that once you fix your off spawn, you're able to apply this and literally start winning games. Like, there's no, like, you know, you fix all spawn, then you start struggling with mid-game, you fix your mid-game, then you start struggling. Like, if you just know how to do this and get really good at it, then you can go straight from fixing all spawn into, like, winning the game. That's what I hope. Okay, so the katana into zone, now they're waiting. Trying to save as much match as possible, so they katana very conservatively. 
Meaning when they katana, they don't build a lot. Like regions over here, he's over here. They do this to get like more space, more ownership of the area. Um, and also like they don't really need to group because there's no threats near them, right? But the, you see how dead side they are? Not any people near them. So they're completely fine. They just need to chill. Literally, just, it's just a waiting game now. They have 1.2k surge. I don't know why. Um, did he get an SMG? No, he says that uh, he needs to go get an SMG if possible. I think the only reason he doesn't have an SMG because he, there is no SMG. So, but he, he, would, he would take it if he had an option. Because like you don't need more surge. 1.2k. Nice. Yes, just still chilling. Don't need anything. You've checkmated. And you just need to win. That's all you got to do. Like the concept I talked about before, they're just trying to get to the point where they have that maiden for, right? Which is get to the uh, moving zones. But their loadout, their loadout is perfect for moving zones. They don't need anything else. Okay, now that this is the final zone before moving. So let's see how they katana. They're just looking through. I'm pretty sure Janice is looking forward because he's IGL. He's trying to find a rotate. And they're probably going to go like this, if I had to guess. Let's see. Go up, up, up to the right. That, that genuinely surprises me. Why do they do that? That is so interesting. Do they not care about this guy up top? I feel like this is safer, honestly. Do they, uh, they I would go deep? Just on the left, under the under the guy, so he has less visual. On me. That's what I was thinking. Exactly the same process. But either way, I think what's important about what they do is not even this way or that way. Even though I do think this is slightly better. Um, maybe the thought process is like they're gonna get shot from here. But whatever. Uh, it's not that big of a difference. The most important thing is look where they base. They base elevated. It's not even the fact that it's back here, even though that is important. I think basing on edge. Look, 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 this is important. This part is important. Let's say this is the, the zone before, and then this is the partial. This is what I call half-half. It's not actually half-half, but this is the zone before moving. That's what I mean by half-half. Okay? So to base somewhere in here, here, or here, or here, 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 is just asking to get service break. Because everyone, think about it, right? In terms of where people box, they box, and then where do they look? outward they don't look behind them why would you look here there's no one back here right so that way if you base back here you're not going to get looked at there's no one's looking back there they're all looking for the people katana in and that are coming so it's only one direction they're really focused on and they don't look this way that, that's true for every box for most boxes so when you box back here and you stay elevated it's very unlikely you get service paid so that's what they do they attach to the mountain they're elevated for one simple reason because it's less congested and also it's easier to katana once you do need to katana so that's what's in my opinion the most important factor as to why they base elevated very similar to past seasons like when in spider-man season why do you base elevated much easier to spider-man right very easy but there's a lot more space on the higher layers it's like a pyramid right the lower layers are more congested that's why it's wider at the bottom and the top layer is only one team and then it gets more and more congested as you go down to the bottom layers sometimes you'll literally see janice and reason on second or third height why because it's much easier to katana from there and now zone pulls it pulls max it doesn't matter let's take a look at their their mats by the way 142 128 right not amazing but pretty good they conserved very very well so what's the formula do you remember first two movings what do you do uh, just katana. Just katana. Katana. Go katana and box, and then uh, do don't don't edit anything. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you edit anything? Uh, because you don't want to waste your heals. Yep. Uh, if they spray you accidentally and you don't want to die. The best way I think about it, you're absolutely people. right. But the best way I think about it is, uh, do you need anything? And in this case, I don't think they do. So there's no point in risking opening an edit because you don't need to kill anyone. They can die by themselves, you know? Just just survive. They box. They make two hard metal boxes in zone. And then in this case... I hate replays. I'll wait for that. Like the only reason they tarp a little bit forward here is because, like, why would you katana to close this gap of two boxes, right? You just tarp in, that's fine. Because only two boxes. Uh, because this is the safe zone. They weren't in safe zone in this tile. So they're just going to tarp in a little bit to make sure they're in safe zone. Then they just wait. Do they edit? Do they even look outside? They're not even looking through their cone. Why? Because it doesn't matter what's happening outside. What matters is that you're paying attention to this information right here, which in real game is going to be right here. You just need to look here. Just stare at that and don't worry about anything else. Do not get distracted. They're unironically AFK. They're just looking. They open this. I don't know why. I actually could, like, this is not important. This is, this is kind of bait. Because things like this can happen, oh. even to Janice. And it's what's, that's what's, ro imagine, imagine that guy kills him. 
right? A lot of people would immediately look at this. Let, let's say that didn't happen, right? Let's say there was a chance, because it is a likelihood. It's, 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 it's a risk-based thing. If that didn't happen, everyone would be like, oh my God, it's Reason Janice, it must be correct. Just because they're pros, they're, what they're doing is correct. But look, one more bullet, he's dead. Don't you agree? Yeah. So then I would ask Reason and Janice, do you think that was a good play? I promise you they would say no. Especially after this incident. But like, this is just so troll. You don't need anything. Why are you opening? I'm glad they did this because it shows us as the students as like a good example. Like, hey, this is just a bad idea. Look, here's a perfect example of what could happen if you edit. Instantly. You don't even see them. They're over here. But that's my point. Don't, don't be naive. Don't be like, oh, I'll, I'll edit. I swear no one can hit me. That's what they thought too. Look what happened. Very close. Cool. That the worst the slurp? That's okay. But my worry is not the slurp loss. It's the potential of them getting 200 out. They could have died here. If they get knocked, I think I think they lose a team member, which completely ruins the entire game plan, right? So editing there, not a, no way, no, no good, right? Not good. So here they tarp out a little bit extra because they need to, because they they tried to heal. They need Janice to be healthier before they katana. Only reason if Janice never got beamed, they would just katana straight up. Like from here, they, they, there's no reason to tarp. But they're try, they're trying to delay the katana so that Janice slurp, slurp continues a little bit longer. So they don't want to go out and katana with 183, right? So they waste a little bit more mats. Things go wrong. They waste a little bit of mats. They have to waste the slurp. Even with all of that done, the game plan stays the same. The katana, the katana, just like I've described, like that. Then you land. This buys time. This, this is safer because you're again in the layers that are like less congested you're not going to get shot by anyone and height is ultimately not that concerned with you because you're not that close to them as long as you don't come off as the, like hey i'm threatening to take your height i don't think they would shoot you that much i would just be a little bit careful about being uh, in their sight line uh, if you can avoid that now janice igl right he's igl now in this case reason is doing what he's just following him i always said this fragger is just a copycat don't try to do anything fragger is just a horrible title because this tells you you should get kills. Not true. This is a bad title. What about follower? IGL and follower. Leader and follower. That's what it should be. Are you a good follower? Because if you're if you're a good follower, I think you satisfy your role. Uh, if you're a good fragger, I, I, fragger is just a shit title. I'm not gonna lie. I hate it. I hate I hate the title fragger. It's so it's so misleading. And that's why a lot of people in Endgame don't look for kills because, hey, I'm the fragger. Uh, my teammate probably thinks I should get five kills before we get into heal up. It's such a shit title. I, I don't know. I don't like it at all. They use wood here. Why? Because they feel relatively safe on this layer. They're pretty front side and they, they, they feel like they are not going to get sprayed here. Uh, so it's better to use wood in these instances when you can get away with it and save your hard mats for later because hard mats are more valuable in the later moving hood. So they burn through wood. They start metal here. Why? Because they're in zone. They're just going to build two metal boxes and then tarp here and, and box up. So pretty safe, right? Pretty simple. The follower drops over uh, mats to the leader, Dennis, because he's tarping. And then it's very important, just drag. The reason why dragging is better is because then the, without comms, the leader understands how many mats your team has, right? He knows you have some wood, but you've just essentially dragged everything. Yes, there's going to be extra mats that, you know, um, Reason can then pick up, but uh, it's really, really important that you just drag. It's just, it gives that... I've, I was an IGL, right? I was a Tarper, and every time they drag, I really understood how many mats my teammates had. So now I know, like, like he's out. You know, he only has wood. So now I know what I have is all what you have left. So I can make better decisions. They go down a layer because they, they feel like they're too high. And then what do they do? This is this is which moving? Which moving is this? Third. Third. Third, correct. So what should you do in third moving? It just uh, box up and don't uh, don't open. Yes. Yes. So should you katana in third moving? No. Uh, no, because yeah. it's too congested. It's too small. It's too small. I agree. I fully agree with you. Yes. It's too small. Yes, height is all the way up there, but forget about that. It's just too small. Look at them, the circle is. And, and also, it's. I would agree, by the way, that tarping is safer than katanaing. That is for sure. But the katana is less expensive. But in this case, I think you can agree. The mats that they have, yeah, they can the mats the last two moving. They can get the heal off right now. They've che it's checkmate. It's made in, in four movings, right? And they're in the third moving. They just need to continue the plan. Just, just keep going. And, and and do they edit? Do they look around? What is the what is reason doing? He's looking behind them. He's blocking every now once in a while in case someone hops in his tarp. But that's about it. He's not blocking too too much, but it's not that big of a deal. Because honestly, they're on a layer which is super uncongested. The likelihood of that happening is super low. They could place one wall, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. He's looking. He's not editing. He's not spraying him. It's a solo. Don't you get two points for getting this solo? Why not kill him? 
Like, right, he it's needs not, to bless it's not worth it. You know what's that's hilarious? Like, most said. people would fight this guy. I, I just don't understand. I, I don't know. It, it makes me so mad, but whatever. Yeah, so uh, they don't need to fight him. Fine. I agree it's a solo, but do you need it? No, you don't. You've already won the game, by the way. All you just need to do is uh, collect your points. Which is what the, these guys are doing. Zone pulls, what are they doing points here? Are also more more value than just two points. Two points with the risk associated with it? Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, uh, absolutely true. In this case, when they transition into points moving, they're just waiting. They didn't add anything. They're not looking for extra points. It's bad to look for extra points because it, 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 it deviates oh. you from your mission. Because it's a distraction. In this case, this is a little bit risky. So then they drop a layer, I think. Okay. Yep, drop a layer. Good. Why not go up? Because it's already a little bit higher up. And I think... Because I high. think you could go up, but I feel like there's more teams above. So, like, for example, this is where they were, right? If they go up, then there's this team. Then what do you do then, right? So then they, yeah. it's better to drop here. They probably had a feeling just from observing that, like, going down ones was a better layer. Because there's no one on this layer. Now, if you look at Janus, there's old builds, right? You have only 32 builds, yes? No one, your, your teammate doesn't have much. So this is all the maps that you have. But can you get here with 32 builds? Yes. Once you get into old builds that are dead, like these are old builds, right? It's much easier to not have to use any maps because it's old builds. You can just walk on their floors. So all he has to do is just get here safely. That's it. All you gotta do. Okay, let's watch. Yeah, replay is cool. Okay, cool. Oh, what about impact? No impact, huh? They, by the way, they skipped step number five, by the way. They didn't need it because they conserved so well that they didn't need that 50-50 impact. They literally didn't need it. So they just didn't kill anyone. He's tarping, tarping, tarping. Don't agree. Don't need it. I guess he's editing. It could be a truly free kill, but I think it's so close that you don't need it. You just need to get him to that point. Cool how he does it though i will mention like he literally edits every single one and then checks but not so sure if it's uh, needed like unironically don't need it yeah so watch this okay so who's who's healing off here Janus. Janus. Yes. Janus. you see that right so janice is what the president he needs to be the person that lives because the whether or not this team wins is on janice right so he cannot die the other guy is what I call the disruptor. So you need to actually go and grief other people. That's very simple. Not a crazy concept. It's not hard to understand. All right, so they pick your build. They need to get through because the edit above them is open. Janice takes a hit. Unfortunate. Pop a surf early because it's seven seconds. One thing I want to mention. Why does Janice start running now? Isn't there seven seconds left? Watch. Let's go back. Let's take a look at this. This is very interesting. So this may blow your mind. I know for a fact that it will blow a lot of people's mind. Look, two people, right? Solo. Shouldn't we kill him? Mm. Two of you want, no? Yeah. Let's pump him. Yeah. Do you think it's a mistake yeah, I mean, that they didn't pump him? But when the other people who one pump him, who's that? No, that's what Janice does. He fucking books it. He runs. Why is he running from a solo? It's because it's for not about off. the solo. It's about the, like, like, the start the heal off. This is a win. You've won the game as long as you just make sure you don't get grief because the problem is if you start fighting the solo here and then yes he's probably gonna die yes you'll probably win but then he pumps janice for 150 don't you lose yeah because now like it's, it's, you, you've ruined the entire game if he, this guy pumps janice for a lot he, he he loses janice knows he's president he knows he shouldn't take this fight that's what's important everyone else everyone else in the world bro it's so crazy except for like the pros and some semi-pros they understand that it's important to stay alive and it's important to prioritize the win over everything else. You have a win condition, you play towards that win condition. In this case, Janice realizes that like it's important to just run away here. Like he does he sees a person, he doesn't think, oh, I need to kill him. That's what everyone else thinks. In this case, he understands that the win is more important than two points. What a shocker. It's crazy. Right? I think it's more important to go from ninth place to first place compared to the two points here. So I'm not gonna risk it. But he just runs. Despite it being 2v1. Fucking books it, right? Just completely gets out. And starts his heal off. Very simple. In this case, if you remember, there's a pizza box dropped somewhere earlier in the tarp. But he's trying to get back to that because that's 200 white heels. He gets a siphon to add towards his white heels, but I think he needs to, after get this, like he needs to run. Yeah, he doesn't need to get it. No need for the finish. You don't need it. Just get out. He books It'll it. It'll automatically just die. It'll die way. by itself, yeah. You should make sure he drops, like, I think that splash was a little bit too much, but because the siphon's coming in soon, right? But it's yeah. okay if he doesn't play perfectly in terms of heals. He, he has so many heals, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is just don't get fucking, you know, shotgun for 100, you know? Son, he has to fight, I guess. This is tarp. 
kills him because you kind of had to if he wasn't here then he wouldn't he wouldn't take the fight looking for the pizza box found it open it up after you pop a slurp i guess then 200 white heels right here you have connections and you just keep searching and then you win the game there is a Pretty world much. where Janice took that fight, just like everyone else, thought it was important to get two extra points instead of the win, and then gets pumped for 100, completely loses the game from that. There is a world, yes. And I think people need to understand, they need to have priorities over what's important. The leaderboard, or like, not the leaderboard per se, but the scoring system tells you what's important. 65 points for a win. It's two points for kill. Yeah. Very obvious. It's, it's, it's like a very simple... Um, it's, I don't know. I, I don't understand why it's that complicated. But that, yeah, in this case, people need to understand it's not a free kill. There are risks associated with going for that 2v1. And I think when he just yeah. runs away... Because it doesn't matter. Like, doesn't matter if uh, Reason dies. Let's say Janice completely leaves Reason and then that guy comes in and kills Reason. Is Reason screaming like, why did you leave me? No. You won the game. No, it doesn't matter because she still wins the game. Yeah, exactly. The other guy will die in the storm. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole point. And I think... It sh you should think like that not only in the last seven seconds, but from half half from here You see how they play the end game? That's what's important And you see how they played the mid game in order to get into this position? They prioritized the heal They tried did everything to get the two most important things, which is slurp juice connections Obviously and then also katana I guess three things and once you have this you've won the game You can get pizza party augment as well And then all you need to do is to just stay alive until half half once you're in half half you do the two two concept Which is two katanas of moving and two moving zones of uh, full tarping. And then you just win the game. Checkmate. That's it. Any questions, guys? Uh, I uh, I want to ask, like, what are the most, like, uh, of course, Pizza Party is one of the augments that I should use, but what are, well. oh, uh, what are the top four? Oh, What are the top four, like, uh, augments that I should be looking out for mostly? I mean, I think Pizza Party, Jelly, uh, and Keys are all the three. I don't know the fourth one. Fourth one, I think there's a huge gap between these three and then the fourth one. So I don't think the, should, you should care about the fourth one. But these three are the best. Because these two help you win the game. And this helps you get your loot up to par. And potentially yeah. Katana, potentially Splashes. It also helps you in that regard, right? Because you can get a Katana out of the hollow chest. So yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, so those three, in my opinion, are the best. Everything else doesn't even come close to com in comparison. So that's my uh, answer to that question. Anything else? Uh, no. I, I will say, I will say, don't worry if you come up with a question tomorrow. Like, you don't have to come up with everything today. My DMs are open for you guys. Like, if you have questions, yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're interested, huh. even after you, like, play the next week and you're like, oh, fuck, like, something happened, I don't know. Like, just let me know. If you want a full-fledged coaching session, that's obviously an option. You can totally do that. But if it's just a simple question, just DM me for free. Like, I, don't worry. I don't... It's not a... You don't have to, like, wor feel bad. Like, oh, I'm taking up his time. Like, I'm your coach. Okay? You can ask me questions. Okay? So, All feel right. free to ask me anything you wish. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to answer your questions, okay? So, just DM me all if right. you wish. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So much. Uh, sounds Thank good. You. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Best of luck. Right. Best of luck fixing everything you, uh, you worked on, okay? <laughs> okay. See ya. See ya.